Hey guys, 1977 Logan here. Uh, back with a new update on my BC29 Nano Reef. I haven't been on here in a while. I haven't made any videos, so I thought it was time to show you what what's happening in my aquarium. Got a new coral here. It's a ridge coral. Uh, I've got some zoanthids that I've got spreading out among uh, on my rock structure. A uh, new little frag there of uh, what I believe is a chalice. Uh, up on top, a uh, plug with some zoos on it, a couple pallies that have spread off another plug I had onto the rocks behind that. Over here I've got a plug with some pa the pallies on it, uh, another plug with some zoos, some zoos on the rocks behind there that spread off of uh, my zoo frag plug. <clears throat> got a recordia mushroom there that that is actually split into three mushrooms. Down here I've got a uh, another pair of mushrooms that started out as one and it split into two. Uh, there's a leather of some sort, a finger leather down underneath the structure there. Seems to uh, enjoy the, the shade a lot more than it does the bright light. This new big coral here, I'm not sure what it is, but it's really awesome. It was laying in the sand bed when I got it and I've, I've glued it standing up hoping that it'll, it'll fill out all the way around. Uh, give me give you a view from this side here. This is the structure from the side. I think this yellow thing on the back of this coral might be a sponge. I'll try to get in close, but I'm not sure the camera will focus very well. If anyone knows, maybe let me know. Um, still have the same two fish, uh, tomato clown and my yellow watchman goby. There's a structure from this side. Also have a black urchin. He's really uh, helping to clean up the structure, the rock structure. Added a lot of turbo snails, a lot of hermit crabs. Uh, last videos I were I was making, I uh, was having a terrible problem with hair algae. I've uh, took a way more aggressive approach to solving that issue. Uh, I think it was lack of maintenance on my on my part and. Uh, build up of nutrients in the system, lots of phosphates and things like that. Um, but I did buy a product from a great company and I'll show you what that is. I purchased this uh, dual canister filter from Bulk Reef Supply. Uh, they're super awesome, great service, fast shipping and uh, their products really work. Uh, this is the the canister filter that they they run their GFO and carbon in and I have ran GFO through it right now though I've, I've switched it up and I've got a bag of Purigen in the bottom and then separated by the filter pad carbon filter pad <clears throat> this is really 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 working for helping me to get rid of that hair algae I'll show you what I got going on in my back chambers I still have my uh, heater in the first chamber. I've got that piece of egg crate in there that I usually have a piece of filter floss on. The middle chamber I have a piece of egg crate that runs across the length of it with filter floss on that. And the uh, pump for my canister filter is down in there. Comes up and cycles my water through and then returns it back over here to the uh, return side of my bio cube. Um, this thing has made a, a huge huge difference on on the algae and and testing my waters and and the uh, phosphates and all that are are really in check <clears throat> it's turned the uh, turn the algae into like a fine brown dust and there's still a few spots that, that are that have a little bit of hair but I'm doing a, a weekly to every three day five gallon water change and before the water change I'll take a toothbrush and just kind of scuff the rocks a little bit and the uh, what's left of the hair algae usually just turns into a fine brown powder that that settles onto the substrate and then I vacuum it up without vacuuming up vacuuming all my sand up for some reason my tomato clown is digging a hole there not sure why <clears throat> starting to get some coralline algae growth. I've, I've been dosing a little bit of calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. 
like I said, I'm, I'm doing a, a weekly five gallon water change, sometimes every three days. I vacuum out the uh, first chamber of the of the uh, the back of the cube, vacuum the rock structure, uh, blow it off in between those days with the turkey baster so that the uh, the stuff will catch in my filter floss and change it regularly. Um, as far as that, uh, also I I ordered an MP10 last night from Bulk Reef Supply. That's going to take the place of these two uh, two Coralias. I'll be doing a video on that next week as soon as it comes in. Um, I'm really wanting to get one of those uh, Vega color lights like uh, Archangel's running over his tank. It seems like a really, really awesome light fixture. Uh, I, I definitely like the videos he's been putting out on that. Uh, still toying with the sump idea though. The cabinet on the bio cube is so small it really kind of limits you on on what you can do and, and, and jam packing it in there so I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet on that. This tank's been running without a skimmer now for at least a year and I, I'm still winning the war on this algae so. Um, we did have a sea bay anemone that I had, had made a video on last time and uh, it was bleached out and not really in good health when we bought it from the uh, local fish store. We were able to to feed it uh, raw shrimp and it got its color back. It actually got really big. Its tentacles were flowing all over the place. My, my clownfish was hosting in it but it would occasionally just take a trip around the rockscape and it and it ended up stinging my bird's nest and uh, and one of my other SPS corals uh, to death so unfortunately we had to uh, remove him from the tank. Uh, we plan on adding a lot more corals. I'm going to place a order uh, fairly soon for that so uh, stay tuned. We'll be making a lot more videos now that it's cool weather and uh, thanks for watching. Later.